What's going on guys? It's your boy Pryoxis and I'm back with another video and this one here is going to be teaching you out there in the world how to use Gilbert Burns. Not going to say too much, going to get right into the video. If you enjoy any parts, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new and turn on notifications so you don't miss a stream and you don't miss an upload. And follow me on social media at Pryoxis and also you can subscribe to my reaction channel in the description below if you are interested in that. Let's get started. So let's go through Gilbert Burns stats and perks. And you guys need to pause it here because I will not read them specifically. All right. So he has fast hands, nightmare, no cigar, crafty, and higher altitude. And we go over to the stand up. And the things that stand out to me is the punch speed, the punch power, the accuracy stands out. Also, the head movement is good. The takedown defense is good. And the kick speed and the kick power isn't that bad. Right. Then we go over to the grappling, and this is where he excels at. And a lot of people don't understand. They get, they fall in love with, with using Gilbert Burns with their hands, but he's a wrestler slash jiu-jitsu guy first. There's not many guys in the UFC that honestly could go one-on-one -on -one with Gilbert Burns on the mat. Not many at all, if any. Okay, so things that stand out here, obviously, is the submission defense, the submissions also. The bottom control is very high. The top control is high as well. The clinch striking. So Gilbert Burns, is, he excels everywhere when it comes to the ground game and the clinch. And then we go over to the health stats. You see the cardio is fine. The chin is fine. The body is meh. The legs are meh. And the recovery is not that great at all. So basically, he can take some punishment, but not for a long time. And then we go over to his top moves. And like I said, he's a jiu-jitsu guy first. His top moves is BJJ transitions are level 5. BJJ sweeps are level 5. BJJ reverses are level 5. And his BJJ get-ups are level 5 as well. So... There's not one striking. No, he does have, I believe his cross and his rear hook are level four strikes. I know that for sure. But his top moves, everything's five. It's every, all it has to do with grappling. So that's what we're going to be trying to implement depending on the matchup. All right. Now let's get into the fights. Okay, here we go. Every time, it never fails. We're going against someone in Division 16. He's using the Kamaru Usman pick. Now, about this matchup, honestly, when it comes to just the boxing with the hands, it's not fairly even, but it isn't a big margin between these two fighters. Um, so, but on the ground, here's the thing. A lot of people don't understand about this matchup here. Is on the ground, Kamaru Usman doesn't have the BJJ that, uh, I'm going to shoot this takedown and try to turn it. Kamaru Usman doesn't have the BJJ that Gilbert Burns has. Kamaru Usman's very good, you know, as a top fighter. But on the bottom, he doesn't have a lot of things that... Gilbert Burns has and I'm going to be patient on the ground deny that transition let's throw a punch and then transition to the right I'm going to wait to give it some time again I'm going to look for more so position over submission and also position over damage so I'm going to roll into side control now as I get that grapple advantage from denying the transition then he does another transition immediately then he tries to get up I deny that let's go to the right backside okay okay nope Nope, 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 nope. Now we're going back here in the side control. And I expect him to try to go. Okay, never mind. He didn't go sprawl. And he's doing a lot of transitions. He's throwing the hand on my head. Throwing the hand on my head again. Nope. Oh, he's doing the fakes. That's nice. That's nice. No, 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 no. Okay, oh, never mind. He did that transition. Boom. We go back side. I assume he's going to try to get up this time. Last time he tried to do the reversal. Okay. Nope, he doesn't. He actually goes to uh, full guard. Nice. And I'm just controlling him here. I'm not really doing too much. Just controlling. Deny his transition. Let's go to the left this time. Full grapple advantage. And uh, this guy's really just tr like transitioning. He's being very predictable on his transitions. I won't do too much grapple. Uh, I'm sorry, ground and pound. Like I've said, I'm <clears throat> looking to control. Looking to really control him. Nope. Let's get top mount now. He goes to the right. Okay. Let's go back to top mount. There we go. He went to the right. <clears throat> nope. He went to the right last time. So uh, he tried to go up that time. He went to the right again. We did not that. Nope. Let's posture up now and let's throw some strikes. His ground, his ground uh, striking isn't that high. See if he goes to the right or he goes up. He tries to go up again. Nope. So we got a minute and 28 seconds left in the round. Okay. Now I'm, I'm going to try to do a submission here. Only because it's a minute and 28 seconds left in the round. And, uh, you know, I just want to end the round with this submission. Probably won't get this submission, but still. You know what I mean? This has been a, a, a really dominant round as far as control time for me. Now, I'm going to cancel here because 
Uh, I don't want to go too deep into the submission and it get reversed and, you know, he gets some uh, top control. I don't want him to get any. Let's posture back down. Try to posture up. Okay, posture back down. 22 seconds left, not too much time. So maybe I'll just try to go for an arm triangle or something. He denies it. Nice. And then we'll, we'll leave it at that. But I won't let him get back up to the feet. I will not let you get back up to the feet. Nope, 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 nope. Nice control this round. Nice control. Okay, okay, okay. And I want to check how much control. I had basically four minutes of control time in that round. So just put that in perspective. That was a dominant round as far as grappling. Okay. Here we go. Next round, striking. Maybe grapple. Probably going to look to grapple again. Okay. He's doing jab crosses. He faked the slip hook. Okay. He faked the elbow too. He's going to really be looking for the uh, takedown. Okay. Double jab, or jab cross to the body. Jab cross. Shoot a takedown. Boom. He denies it. That was nice. Those punch to my body. Those punch to my body again. Let's clinch him. Pull him here. Let's drag him backwards. Then turn the takedown. Actually, he did not deny the drag. So now we're sitting in back sitting. Okay. Let's see what he does here. I'm gonna, <clears throat> I'm assuming he's gonna try to go up. Yep, he does. Mm, I feel like he's gonna. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Back drag again. Boom, and I'm just looking for control, man. This is going to be one of those type of matches. Uh, I would strike versus someone I feel like was e more so easy to strike against. Let's see if he denies this this time. Nope. We mix it up. Went for the back pack. He didn't deny it. Now, he usually goes up. So we're going to be looking for that transition to not up. Oh, my. It's hard. It, it's hard, though. It's not an easy transition to get. Let's see what he does here. I'm assuming he's going to try to go up again. Nope. Deny that. Okay. Let's try to go back to side control. He denies it. Nice. Those hands. Put on my head. See how he's throwing a hand on my head? He got to be careful with that. Okay. Deny that. Let's go top. There we go. He usually goes to the right. Yep. Ah, I thought I did not that. Let's go try to go top mount again. Nice. Now he's, now he's probably going to go up. No, he goes left. Okay, posture up, go to side control. And just looking for overall just complete dominance against this guy, man. Just looking for complete dominance. Boom. Back down to the ground. Okay. If I see if I can deny transition. Okay, he's not trying to transition. So let's try to just go for a bulldog choke. Obviously, I probably won't get it, but again, like I said, man, it holds the dominant position for the rest of the round. Yep. That'll end the round. Ten seconds left. Nine, five. I'm set. Ten. <laughs> I ain't got no eyes. All right. Good round, bro. Good round. Another dominant controlling round. Okay. Here we go. All right. That's all good, man. Let's get it. Let's get it. Nice. Ooh, that was a nice pull counter. Okay. Shoot the takedown. Oh, I don't know where my takedown went. We dodged that. He tries to slip hook. So it looks like he's trying to anticipate me shooting the takedown. We rock him here. Okay, we're going to go to the body. Boom, boom. Okay, back down to the ground. He's turned the takedown. Boom, get him to the ground. 
Same thing, same thing. Control and dominance. Deny that. Two elbows and wait for a transition again. That's the one elbow, two, three. Deny that. One, two, three. Okay. Now he's probably gonna go up again because last time he was able to get it. Nope, he goes to the right. I'm gonna look for him to go up and I'm gonna go for that guillotine counter. And to do this guillotine counter, you wanna hold down left trigger, right trigger, and wait for him to try to go up. Right here. And then you flick your right stick up. So left trigger, right trigger, flick your right stick up. Oh, he got the counter toe. He got the counter. He got the counter. I believe Devon flew. Let's get it. There we go. Now he's in side control. Now I'm going to hold up. See if I can get this full guard. Boom. We get it. Let's see what he does. He passes up. Going to probably get back up to the feet. Okay. I feel like he should have tried to get back up to the feet. Okay. See if we can get that rubber guard. Boom. We get it. He's probably going to try to go up to the... Oh, nope. Deny that. All right, let's put him in side control just so we can be in a dominant position to end the round. Okay. I don't think he's going to... He tried to do it, get up again. All right, last time he started on this side. Let's see if he do it again. Nope, he doesn't. And we get the counter. Okay, nice submission defense, bro. I like his submission defense. I was trying to predict where he was going to go versus just trying to follow him. All right, 30 seconds left. We did not that. Try to go for a twister. He denies it. Let's see what he does here. Posture up. I assume he's going to try to posture up. Okay, he goes here. Let's immediately go half guard. Nope, not that. Kimura. There we go. As you can see, this guy has some good submission defense. Good submission defense. I'll give him that. Let's go. But this is another round in the books for me. Let's check the stats on uh, round two and round three. Round two, I had three minutes of control time. Round three, I only had two minutes, but I did get a rock. Did some work on the feet. I'm very efficient in this fight. Very efficient. Okay, here we go. Round four. Same thing, man. Same thing. Okay. To the body. I did some work on the ground last round too. I'm looking for that slip counter. Nice low kicks. There we go. Boom, boom. Woo. Shoot the takedown. Return it. He denies it. Nice. Let's see if he's going to try to implement his own wrestling. But he doesn't. Okay. Shoot jab cross. Shoot the takedown. Nope, I couldn't get it. I feel like he's about to throw. Never mind. Go, go to the body. Like I said, Gilbert Burns has a real good rear hook too. Throw the cross. Ooh, good overcut. Shoot the takedown. Let's see if we can get it. Boom. He actually tried to deny take uh, turn and takedown that I didn't do. Deny that. Just go side control. Maybe he'll try to go sprawl. Nope. He goes here. Elbow, elbow, wait for a transition. He doesn't. Let's go crucifix. We got a lot of grapple advantage there. Okay. So we got two minutes and 25 seconds to work. So we're going to. So we denied that. Yep, we denied that. The Americana's there. The arm bar's there as well. And he's taking a lot of damage from this ground and pound from the crucifix position, too. He's going to have to transition out, but he denied, I denied that one. Okay, good job, bro. See, as you see, he's, he's gassed there. He's, he's gassed. Oh. Alright, he's probably gonna start on this side. Nope. And I just hit the wrong button for that counter too.
Okay. Okay. Alright, let's see if we can do anything here. Fake that. Throw a punch. He passes up. Denies that. Denies that. Let's go if we can get this full guard. Yep, there we go. I just don't want him to get any, like, too much uh, ground, uh, no, control time. Go half guard. It's only 30 seconds left. Not too much time to do anything. Let's see if we can go side control. He denies it. Nice. What does he do? What does he do? Okay, he's throwing a hand on my head. Here we go. Nope. 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 Posture up. Three seconds. Two seconds. Can't do much here. <clears throat> but I'm just dominating this guy as far as grappling and striking. Okay. Let's check the stats since we're sitting here waiting. See, so, yeah, I one for three on takedowns there. Uh, two minutes of control time. He had 23 seconds, but over overall, we're just dominating this guy. All respects to him, though. All respects. Here we go, though. And I, I believe his uh, his chin might be a little weak. Oh, you see, he's gassed off that overhand. His chin may be a little weak due to, you know... Oh, if I would land that, that would have did damage. Because he took a lot of damage on the ground that round. Especially with that crucifix elbows. Go to the body. He's going to throw an uppercut, I feel like. There goes the uppercut right there. Go to the body. Go to the body. We drop him down. Boom. <laughs> Hey, man, the lead overhand just caught him clean and put him to sleep. GG's, bro. GG's, man. GG's. Good game, man. This was a very clinical match. Very clinical, man. Very clinical. Whew. Hey, if you guys enjoyed that one there, don't forget to hit the like button, okay? But I want to check these stats really quickly before we jump into the next match. Come on, man. I, I wish you could skip these. I really do wish you could skip these. Okay, so we threw 166 and landed 113. Very efficient. 6 for 10 on takedowns. Um, 11 minutes. Really, 12 minutes of control time. And I'm going to see. Okay, so I was winning 39, 37, and then 40, 36 on, some, on his card, on the judge too. But let's jump into the next match. All right, here we go. We're back with another one going against a Nate Diaz. What sucks is I won't be able to get another fight in after this unless I finish this guy fairly quickly because it's currently 6.53 in the morning and the weight class is going to change in seven minutes. So, But um, maybe I can every five hours. So it'll be well to wait again at 11 o'clock. So maybe I can get in another fight before uploading this. Getting some more fights, but we'll see. We'll see. Okay. Now, thing is with Nate Diaz, he doesn't have great leg health, obviously. And this isn't this isn't lightweight Nate, so he doesn't have the power and the speed that he does have in lightweight. He tries to hit like hip toss me. He does get it. Nice. I try to go backside. He denies it. I'm gonna assume he's gonna try to go for an arm triangle. He goes side control. Okay. Throw a punch. Go full guard. Now he took me down. Nate has very good ground game. I want to keep it on the feet. But I'm not afraid to go to the ground with, with Nate Diaz. Boom, he passes up. Boom. Okay. We do a fake. Do a fake again. Punch. Okay, he goes over into half guard. Do another fake. We denied that. Punch, 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 punch. Then we go go back sitting. There we go. Let's see what he does. I will go for the I will go for the rear naked choke. Okay. Cause I want to get another fight in, bro. So I'm trying to get you going. Get the chain. There we go. Good fight, brother. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I had to do it to you. It ain't like I said that. I will say the rear naked choke is a very strong submission. Yes, we know that. 
but I didn't fish for. I didn't, you know, try to try to clinch spam to get him to the to ground or clinch spam to get him to the cage and back drag into the back sitting position or make him have to choose. Okay, I'm either gonna jump on your back or I'm going back drag you. You know, I basically um I basically reversed the position, took his back, right, from guard. Yeah, I believe it was from the guard. And then went for the rear naked choke there. All right? So don't try to grill me. Because somebody will be like, oh, you're cheesing. It's not that I'm cheesing. Cheesing is like sitting there really trying to go for it. That's all you're trying to go for. You're cheesing. You're trying to get that or, You know what I mean? I wasn't just trying to go for a rear naked choke. It presented itself to me. And he allowed it. And I got it. Next fight. Okay, here we go. Bar Brady one one two. Obviously, somebody on a second account. This is what I like to end the uh, end the video with right here, man. Here we go. So, Tony Ferguson, right? We have a huge advantage as far as boxing. That's what we're going to be doing. It's to box it's Tony Ferguson. Like on kick his legs has a very high switch stance. Boxing, 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 boxing. But here we go. Okay, there we go. He switches stance. He's taunting. I'm not really sure if he's gonna. I'm gonna be using my submission defense and then my ground game, uh, you know, for defense in case he tries to take me to the ground. But all in all, I'm gonna really look to box. Boom. Okay. Throws a front kick. Then pushes me back to the body. We catch his kick. Let's throw a high kick of our own. Rear hook. I knew the spin. I was about to say, he's probably about to start spinning. The jab is going to stop him. Okay. He throws, he's throwing these front kicks, which is nice. I respect him. Jab cross lead hook. Whoo, body shots. Body. Okay. Pushing back with our own front kick. We catch his. Throw a high kick again. We call him again. Let's get it. Bink. There we go. That's body rock. Cross, body, cross, uppercut, cross. There we go. We drop him. Just going to be looking to box this guy. Oh, four piece dropped him. There we go. He's probably about to spin. There we go. Boom. Yeah, this guy. Oh. Ooh, he dropped me though. I'll give it to him. Good job. Nah. -uh. Nope. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Good night, Tony. <laughs> so, um, this guy has some very. I mean, I wonder who this is on his second account. But GG's. Uh, obviously, a second account. I want to check. Let's check very quickly. I'll show you, yeah, this is somebody on the second you guys see Brady Hahn, 125 gamer score. They with Division 20. So it's second account. GG's to him. Uh, he just has some very bad uh, sh shot selection and also timing. But it's all good, man. I, I was able to get another fight. That's all that matters. <laughs> I was able to get another fight for you guys. Very good display of striking and grappling in this video. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did. Be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and don't forget, guys, to turn on those notifications so you don't miss a stream and you don't miss up. All right, stay up, stay blessed, keep moving forward, and I love you guys. Peace.